Hi everyone, Lady Botcher, Angela here with part four of the Viking Couple series, and we're going to be going over some leather crafting today. So first off, I've already cut out my patterns, and this is because I won it, <laughs> um, just like I do most things. So I got this paper, I wanted her, the bottom is the girls, the top is the guys. Um, I had to make a couple darts and for the girl because obviously her, her waist is not going to have the whole round leather piece on there. It just doesn't work out. So you got to make some darts or cut it in a way that'll fit uh, her hips as they dip in. So um, yeah, so I'm going to be cutting all of these lines and having individual with a little cutter. Um, my, my exacto knife and yeah so there's gonna be a lot to do with this one I will be using these little I forget what these are called I don't know if these are just it's what you use for like paper crafting and, and that kind of thing I found them at Joann's in the like steampunk section <laughs> area um, that they have so yeah for the guys I made these little plated patterns it's I say plated because they're overlapping um, and you'll see it turns out a little bit different this was just what I had in mind <laughs> I was like maybe this will work out uh, but it didn't it kind of it didn't wasn't long enough so um, yeah so I rivet everything in place I overlap uh, these two with the very first one and that's how I rivet it in and then I do the same with the smallest plate as well. Um, it would have been really cool if I could do that. Well, it turns out it's, it's, it worked out for the best. <laughs> so here's all my rivets, rivets. <laughs> and um, yeah, I, I probably need to get a little bit more of a certain color just because I've used a lot so far. I don't put the belt underneath. I actually put it over top. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, so yeah. So here it is. I am putting it on the side of his body. So it's basically going to buckle on the side and be plated uh, to cover one of his legs and the front of him. Um, I just didn't have enough room for these other two plates, and that's fine. You know, sometimes when you don't have an idea, it just kind of flows how it's supposed to. <laughs> so. The next thing I have is this breastplate and backplate uh, that will be strapped together. Basically, you strap it together, you put it over top your head, and then you cinch it uh, and tie it up on the sides. Um, I have the last of this fabric as well, and I wanted to make sort of like a woven type of armor. So here we go. So I did the back plate first because I wasn't sure how I was going to do it. And I think it turned out okay. Um, yeah, it's like a lattice work uh, sort of thing. And I think it turned out okay. So I'm going to show you how I did that on the front panel. So I have them. I cut this one into strips. And I just like the, the texture and the, and the color of it as well. It, it kind of gives that little bronze feel to it I guess <laughs> almost like it's been uh, hammered and uh, in that style within that period of time so I'm not really sure how it's gonna look <laughs> how I wanted to put it together but I'm going to be using these two millimeter uh, grommets to put on top and the sides and unfortunately in this size you and, and the material that you're using, my material right here is too thin. It will always come out and you'll ruin your, your grommet every single time. So I fixed it by just putting a hole in another piece and just putting the piece through there where it needed to be. And it sort of worked out. So uh, I just grommet that in place and yeah, it works out pretty well, I think. 
there's some of them that kind of fell off, but it, yeah, I'll show you in a little bit that I ruined a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna run a lot of grommets. I don't know if I'm just hitting too hard or if I am not, I don't know, if I'm just not using the right material, but this is the material I have, so I just gotta work with what you got. <laughs> No one's gonna see it, it's on the back side, so it's whatever. <laughs> see, there we go. <laughs> so, those are not even all the grommets that I messed up. <laughs> so, you just smash them and they come off. So, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I weave the armor into the breastplate. And how to do that is just cutting a couple of vertical slits and then just weaving up and down like a basket uh, into the breastplate. So, um, yeah. So all I do is I just cut what I need and put it where I need to be and rivet it in place. Uh, yeah. So I will show you that here in a moment. So I do have this blade. <laughs> yes, it is very sharp. I'm going to use it with my hand just like this because I could not get my X-Acto knife open. I had to have my husband help me um, later on because he, he just wasn't, he wasn't home at this time. So, but we finally got it done. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't recommend doing it like this. <laughs> it's very unsafe and it might look like I'm cutting my finger, but I'm not. So I've been doing this for a very long time and I still get cut. So just be very careful uh, if you're gonna do this. So for the weaving, you need at least three strips because otherwise it would just be an even weave and it wouldn't look good. So you want that third, um, third cut to make it into what you need it to be. <laughs> That's a great explanation, it's awesome. <sighs> okay, so we have the three slits. Um, I guess you could call it four slits, but the, the three pieces, yeah, one of them fell off. I was pretty pissed about it after like so many. Okay, so now we begin our weaving. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna weave over and under and then place my, my strip where I want it to be and then I'm gonna punch a hole on one side, rivet it in, and then I will do the, the same with the other side and basically lock it into place. So if you can see here, it's over and under, and then you do the other strip you didn't do, and it's like a woven band. So that's what I do. It will look like the back plate when I am finished with it. And here we go. <laughs> All done. <laughs> so we have the, the back plate, the breast plate, and the grommets where I will be tying them together. This is probably the easier breastplate uh, that I could come up with because you could take it apart very easily and you can basically make it so it's uniform to your specific doll. So it just depends on the size and, and that kind of thing that you want or intricacy, I guess. So here it is. This is going to be the Viking man's armor outfit and the skirt or the, I guess the leather skirt armor plating, uh, it's going to end up a little bit different, but I want to make it a little bit more decorative. Um, and yeah, so here it is. I use some of those, uh, little, oh, they're called brads, <laughs> those little brads. And I kind of hammered them into place and yeah. I cut the big uh, plate in half because the hip goes there and I wouldn't be able to move his leg very much if I didn't, uh, but I think it turned out. So here we are with the woman's leather armor plate or armor skirt and I'm not gonna lie, I had a lot of inspiration from Xena, Xena the warrior princess. So if you guys don't know about Xena, Please go back and check it out. It was, I think it was back in the 90s, wasn't it? Something like that, it, or early 2000s, something like that. Um, and it was along with Hercules, with 
Kevin Sorbo. I believe that's his name, yeah. So yeah, um, go check that out. <laughs> it's pretty good. I don't know if it's, I don't know. I think it's streaming on something. It might be Hulu or something, I don't know. But all I did was take my little measurement tool here and I finally got the new blade in my X-Acto knife. Um, so this is a little bit later in the evening and my husband was home to help me. And so now I am just cutting all the little slits all the way down, one by one, one by one. Yes. It actually turned out pretty good, I think. So, yeah. And it's always good to have a sharp knife when you're working with leather, um, especially doing small, tiny slits like this. So yes, I go all the way down. This is what it ends up to be. Very cool, leather fringe. Love it, love it, love it. I was playing with it for a while, so. <laughs> so yes. Now what I have to do is for each of these little strands, I will be punching a hole down the length of them, either be it four or three, depending on the pattern that I do all the way across. And then I will be placing some of these brads in them. They're all gonna be different kinds of colors because I don't have all of the same color. So I figure she's you know, working on her outfit, so she just had to put a lot of different ones in place. So yeah. But I think it turned out good with the, all the different colors, so. And this is how they turned out. And I did put backing on the areas with brads. So you'll see on this one, I have a uh, little piece on the back just so it doesn't scrape up the doll or any clothes or anything like that, or myself. <laughs> so I've got a place for like his sword or an ax or something like that, so. And here they turned out so good I think <laughs> I love the rivets the rivets kind of make it even though that might I'm not entirely sure if that's entirely historically accurate or if they just used you know they could have had nails and stuff like that but this one turned out okay with the only thing I don't like about it yeah I had to do all those individually um, I just hot glued it together this is the part I'm not sure about. These thicker cowhide strands, I'm not sure. I think I'll just do a very thin embroidery string and just keep it very light so it doesn't look too busy. But it curled up a little bit because of the hot glue and everything, but I have mm, something heavy sitting on it right now even as I'm speaking and it's actually flattening out so it worked out so I'm really excited about that <laughs> looks pretty good I think so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed and hopefully you'll stick around for part five thanks bye <laughs>